everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mackie of Chagnon and today I'm doing a new video. And it's actually a new sort of video. I've never done one of these on my channel before. I wanted to, but I was sort of kind of scared of doing them because it's a list of products that I'm not too thrilled about. I'm not gonna use the word hate because a lot of these I actually still use because I used my money to purchase them and goodness gracious, I am gonna use them. But again, I am not too thrilled with them because they just aren't the quality that I was hoping to get. So I'm going to run through them and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So first up, I'm gonna go through some products from the company Unique. Now, I love Unique products. Most of my makeup collection is Unique. I use them a lot. But of course, any makeup company out there does have some duds. And I know a lot of the products that I am gonna show are actually very popular products. Um, a lot of people like them, a lot of presenters like them. They just did not work out for me. It's, of course, makeup is a huge preference thing. So what works for one person might not work for another person. And these ones that I'm about to show you just did not work for me. So if you happen to like the ones that I'm showing you, then good, I'm really happy that they worked for you. I just could not seem to manage them. So the first one, which is gonna be a big shocker to any presenters watching, is the Splurge Cream Eyeshadow, specifically the Shimmer range. I haven't tried any of the matte ones yet, so I can't talk about them, but I have tried a few of the Shimmer ones, and I just, I don't like them. And this is gonna be a running trend with a lot of the products I'm gonna show you in future right now. I don't like Sparkle. I don't, I don't, I don't. And I find that, like, look at that color. It's beautiful. It's this, uh, it's this gray muted violet color, and it's just beautiful in the pot. But I find that once you, as soon as you swipe it onto your finger and then do a swatch, all you get, like, there, you can't even see it. There's barely any pigment in the product. Most of the color is very muted. All you really see is sparkle. That's it is just a wad of glitter on your eyeball. And I am not into that. They are mousse formulated, so they are very creamy. They're very nice on the eye. I don't find they crease, so there are some good points to them. I just don't like the amount of sparkle there is, the lack of pigmentation. They are beautiful colors. And um, if you want to get a good amount of color on your eye, you have to pack it on layer after layer, and I'm not interested in that. I want a good swipe of color first off. Uh, I do find that they are not all made equally. There is one of the four that I have, and I've tested out my mom's as well. She's got four other colors different than mine, and Tenacious, which is a coppery metallic bronze color, is, again, still very, very sparkly, but it has that punch of color that I was wanting. So I like that one out of the range, but the rest are just not pigmented enough for me. The next one is this palette here. This is the Unique Sculpting Trio Trio Contour Palette. And I was very excited when they came out with this. Contouring was very new to Unique, so they were coming out with their first ever contouring product, contouring-based product. And I love the setup, so you open it up, and then you have these three faces, and underneath are the three products, and the faces on them, if you see properly, there you go. They tell you where you have to put the product, so it's very educational, it's easy makeup, it tells you where to put the stuff, and there's no guesswork in it. The only problem is, is, so here is the bronze color, it's cream, this here is, it's supposed to be, from what I'm understanding, a setting powder slash highlighting powder. Um, it's banana colored, so personally, I would use this as a highlighting color, but again, it has sparkle in it. It's got little, little micro sparkles in it. So I'm not gonna put this under my under eye because I don't want my under eye to sparkle. I want it just to be brighter. So I would have straight up preferred this being just a regular banana colored powder, but it's not, it's got sparkle in it. And then on this side here, this is the cream highlight. I just found it very hard to work with. I mean, if you look very closely in the pan, you could see that the product has moved around a lot. Uh, it's very hard to get a clean swipe of product. Just look at that, see? 
it's gumped up on the tip of my finger. It, when you swipe it, it doesn't swipe nicely. It gets very patchy. It just doesn't adhere to the skin properly. Uh, same thing with the cream bronzer. Though this one, again, moves around in the pan. It's very hard to pick up. There is a brush that comes with this trio. Now, I don't know if the cream bronzer doesn't work because the brush with it just doesn't match well the shape and everything to it, but I had a hard time using the brush with the cream contour. I would pick up the cream contour and it would all be stuck to this corner of the brush. I would never get any on this end. And it was, again, just patchy, very difficult to work with. Out of the products in the trio, I do like the cream contour the best. I feel that if I got a straight flat brush like this, which was a little more densely packed than what this is, it would work better. So I'm gonna hang on to this and see if that eventually works. I, I just need to find a brush that is like that. But the cream highlight, no, no. And this, this thing that I don't quite understand how to use because it's got shimmer in it, mm -mm, nope. And the last unique product that I don't quite enjoy is this one. This is the Beachfront Body Bronzer. So it is a body makeup. And I'm pretty sure I did a review on the whole range of Beachfront body products. And I'm pretty sure in that one I said, as I'm going to say now, uh, this has sparkle in it. Just, ah. can you tell that I really don't like sparkle in my products? So yeah. It's supposed to be a body makeup. It's supposed to give your skin a bronzed appeal. And there are ways of doing that that don't mean you need to put sparkle into the product. So it looks like this, and I'm just gonna do a swipe on my forearm right here for you. It's very moisturizing. It's a wonderful color. It comes in three shades. It smells really good. Um, it does bronze your skin. So as you see right now, it looks, I guess, a little bit more bronzed. I'm very pale right now. But there is a slight sheen of color to my hand arm right now. And it looks good under this, but as soon as you go outside, you can see the shimmer. And it's not, it's not subtle. It's in your face shimmer. I mean, I was so just mortified when I went outside after doing my legs because I was like, oh, it's like early spring. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have nice bronzed legs and they're going to look slightly tanned, but not overly tanned. And I went outside and I was just, I looked like Edward Cullen. I looked like Edward Cullen. I, I don't use this product and I don't know what I'm going to do with it because I won't use this product actually. I don't like shimmer. I don't. So this is a full bottle of disappointment. <sighs> Whoa, shoot. Probably gonna see if my mom likes it because I mean it's it's good quality product. It's just not my preference. A lot of presenters love this stuff because they sparkle in the sun and it's nice for them. For me, I don't I don't like it. And now I'm gonna have to go wash my forearm off because uh, that's the unique products out of the way. I hope I wasn't too harsh with them, but I have a very strong preference for my makeup. I like it a certain way, and if it's not like that, then well. Now, I still got a couple of other makeup items. First off is this brow gel. This is the Rimmel London Brow This Way Sculpting Brow Gel. I have used this. I use this quite a bit, actually. Still, I just don't quite enjoy using it because the brush is rather large. And yes, my brows are rather large as well, but this is still too large for my brows. And just when you pop the little contraption out of the tube, it comes with a lot of product on it, way too much. So I always have to scrape some off and that's a little off-putting as well. It's just a little difficult to work with. But I mean, when I'm in a pinch, I use it and it works really well. It holds the brows in place, it colors them in nicely, just it's a little difficult to work with, so, but I live with it. Next product that I'm not too, too thrilled about is, this is hard, but it's the Butter Blush from Physician's Formula. I love the Butter Bronzer, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it contours beautifully, it smells heavenly, 
this smells heavenly too, but for a blush, it's just not that pigmented. I tried using it actually as a highlighter as well because it does have a shimmer to it, but I, it's just very stiff, the product in the pan. It doesn't pick up nicely. It swatches wonderfully. You probably can't see that because it's such a light shade as well. It's just like a little hint of pink, and that's I, I like that. But yeah, so it swatches wonderfully on the finger, on the hand, but when you bring a brush to it, I find it doesn't pick up the same way. So I've, I found it very difficult to work with. I still use it, but what I do is I use my finger, I pick it up, and then I tap it on the high points of my cheek. And that's what I do. But it's not something I reach for on an everyday basis. This is like those days where I'm like, yeah, I will fuss with my makeup. But on days where I'm just like, I need this all to work instantaneously, I don't, I don't get this. Next, I have a makeup brush. This is the Quo fan brush. I have been trying to find a fan brush that works. And I don't know if it's just a thing. Maybe the products that I use with this fan brush are just too stiff and the fan brush itself just doesn't pick anything up. It doesn't work. It doesn't pick up anything when I pick up or like run it through a product. I don't see anything on the ends of it, of the little brush hairs. It just doesn't pick up product. I know Unique has recently come out with a fan brush, so I'm going to try their brush. I've had really good luck with all of Unique's brushes except for uh, this one. And it's a dual-ended brush. So, I mean, you're supposed to use the cream contour with this end and then that sparkly banana powder with this. But yeah, I don't. <laughs> This just, blah. And last product that I'm not too thrilled about is a hair product. I recently got the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is a travel size because I just recently came back from DC and I wanted a travel size dry shampoo. So I got this one and it works wonderfully, okay? It works so well. It revives the hair, it degreases it, amazingly and then it lasts like a good amount of time I could probably after using this I could probably go another two days but but there is a but this has a white cast like you would not believe and as you can see I'm my hair is brown so you know a white cast plus brown hair equals gray and you don't want gray hair that's a little disappointing I mean once you let it sit for a little bit and you rub it out the white cast goes away a good amount, but my hair still looks like it's lighter than it should be, but it's, I could get away with it. That being said, I do have another full bottle of the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is in their floral and flirty scent. And I find this one, it has a white cast still, but it has less of a white cast than this one. And actually just thinking about it now, I wonder if the white cast has something to do with the small size of the bottle, maybe, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna keep using this stuff because it does work amazingly, just, it has a white cast. And those are all the products that I'm not too thrilled about. I bought them, I'm gonna use them as much as I can, except for this one. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below with products that you have purchased and ended up not being thrilled with. I'd love to hear about them. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's down below. There's a bell as well that you can click to get notifications when I upload videos. So if you want that, don't forget to click that as well. I hope you have enjoyed this once again. My name is Mackie F. Shangyo, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. I'm gonna have to wash this off. I mean, it's a good, it's a good body moisturizer. It smells great moisturizes the skin. It doesn't go on patchy. It just, it just has sparkle in it. Uh.